Oli, how are you? How are you? Good evening. Good evening, Oli. And no light. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Oli. Yeah. <laughs> are you at home? Yes. Okay. I am at home. Okay. I am at home. <laughs> uh -huh. Good. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, there is the light. <laughs> yes. Perfect, Oli. <laughs> and Oli, what did you do today? Uh, very nice is uh, the vacation. <laughs> the vacation. Um, I know uh, is is the work and trading in the months. Holy, did you say training? Yes. In the months, to a um, full full months, mm -hmm. in the trading. Four months. Yes. It's long the training, Molly. Yes, uh, it's very. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice aburrido? Boring. Yeah. Boring. Boring. Yes. Boring. I need you. I need the action. <laughs> <laughs> And what is the training, Oli? Is the sale is the government. Is the company is is steel. Uh, but what in the training is for security, is for uh, is security, is uh -huh. the process, is the confidence, is the um, process. Is the um, ev eh, everything okay? Because I I don't know. Because I, I'm not technology, but four months it seems very long for a training. Yes, it's very long. Uh, is is obligatory? Obligation? Uh, yes. And only the training is all day. Que no se oye. Eh, mm, oh, today no. Is um in moms in the sales um a full stress in the sales. Um, I am. In yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Entonces, eh, ahorita me han dejado así un poquito tranqui. Ya el otro mes empiezo. No, con no, no. Oli, 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 relax, relax, Oli, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hay algunas cosas que me confunden. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, it's very nice. I love it, sales. 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 Yes. Go. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Uh, yes. Okay, all right. Helio, how are you? Uh, can you hear me now? Today, yes, Elliot. Today, yeah, that, yes. The, you know, <laughs> last, last night, uh, really, I had a hard problem, you know, with the, the, the audition. But the thing is, I had to figure it out what, what happened. But now, I already, I'm already glad that uh, I'm in touch with you now. Okay, yes. at, at, the meantime, at the meantime, I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, you know, yes, uh, coming to the another day. You know, and he it made me very excited to get in touch with you guys. Okay. Yes, teacher. Cool. I'm glad to hear you too. Yes, we're glad to have your communication today, Helio, because thank you, thank you, thank you. Days, really. It, the last two days is hey and Helio, I I, I see Helio, but I don't hear Helio. <laughs> yeah, yes, I try. I try, I try hard to 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 get into in communication. You know, I, I didn't know what to do. But uh, during the day, what happened is uh, I went to asking people to you know find find out finding out what could I do. So okay. I, I, I finally, I you know I I figured it out. 
what what was the problem excellent i'm glad i'm glad and thank you i'm glad that i we have a lot of people today good because it's friday and i know sometimes it's difficult to connect in no, the really and i know it's more difficult on friday because friday you want to relax you want to spend time with the family and so yes, that's right. thank you thank you for coming and thank you for making the effort to be here today yeah maybe because people goes with the with the saying today is friday and the body knows it you uh -huh. have <laughs> yes <laughs> you know it is a popular saying yes yes it's a popular saying you're right, you're right. <laughs> that's right well, today we're going to be looking at comparisons. Comparison, okay. Normally, we re if you remember comparisons, is normally like, for example, bigger, smaller, more, more intelligent. Uh, uh, okay. Less. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, you, well, you mean comparative and superlatives? What do you mean? Correct, correct. All right, all right. I you... understand so. Yes. And today we're going to look at comparisons professional, not per professional right. comparisons. This means we're going to look at the words to describe your job. So for okay. let me see. Uh, Elena, what do you do? What is your profession? Um my, my <laughs> I I am is a mix, but it's okay. Uh, in this moment. Uh, my job is a instructional designer. Okay, instructional designer. And Oli, what is your job? Are you talking to me? No, Oli, to Oli. Oh, oh, oh Oli, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. No, no problem, Elio. All right, I'm sorry. Next. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm glad to hear you so too. No problem. The All guest. Right. Tell me, Oli, what, what do you do? Uh, yeah, uh, I am Jot is um, a sales, 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 sales. 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 So, I, I repeat oh. so much. Sales lady. Yes. You, you, what you yes. mean, sales lady? Yes, sales, sales sí. lady. Yes, okay. So, for example, instructional designer is more creative than sales, right? That is more creative, yeah. comparisons. Or in the case of Oli, uh, sales is more communicative than instructional designer. Mm -hmm. This is the idea how to use professional comparisons. Today, we're going to learn how to use different words in the professional environment to describe and compare our jobs with the jobs of other people, okay? Okay. Let's watch a video and learn vocabulary related to work and nouns related to work. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to compare different jobs using adjectives and nouns. For example, let's say that you're considering being a fashion designer or an accountant. Being a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant. Or maybe you're considering working as a doctor or a nurse. So a doctor has worse hours than a nurse. So in order to express these ideas, we need to use adjectives and nouns to make these comparisons. So let me do the following. Let me just uh, present the structure. But uh, before we do that, what I would like to do is present this um, comparison structures. Okay. This is important because these are the way that we use it. This is the structure. And then where the spaces are is where we have the adjectives or the nouns. Okay. I'm going to take a picture and put into the WhatsApp group to make sure that you have the correct information. Okay, so we can say, for example, um, is maybe a doctor's job is more difficult than a teacher's job, okay? The, doc the teacher works 
less hours than a doctor, okay? A, a doctor is better paid than a teacher. The teacher has, or no, worse, the, a worse, the doctor has a worse schedule than a teacher because they have to work all the time, okay? All of those are to compare more or less or increase to go up or to go down. But the words as as is to compare that is the same. So a pilot, the fly the plane, a pilot makes as much money as a doctor. This means the salary is the same, okay? Or a travel agent does not make or does not make as much as a pilot. These are the ideas for the comparisons. It's okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Now, what are some of the words that we use to describe our jobs or profession? We use words like stressful, fantastic, fascinating, difficult, easy, interesting, dangerous. And what are some of the nouns related to our professions? Oh, we have hours, education, and work. Here, we're going to see some examples, okay? Here is a lawyer versus a mechanic. Let's listen to this part of the video and make sure we understand what is the idea and how to make it. Versus, uh, let's say, a mechanic, right? We want to make the comparison between those two. Well, uh, we could say the following. I think we could say that working as a lawyer uh, is more <clears throat> stressful than working as as a mechanic. And then, so we will use an adjective in this case. I decided to use the adjective stressful. Uh, and it's, I think it's also important to mention that this is an, an opinion, right? So my opinion could be different than yours. You could think the opposite of this. So I, I wouldn't know neither one of those two because I never worked as a lawyer or as a mechanic, so I wouldn't know which one is more stressful. But it sounds like the lawyer is more stressful. And the way that we do it is, well, we're, notice that we're continuing using general phrases similar to uh, the previous class that we had where, where we learned how to make general phrases. So working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. Um, at the same time, you could, uh, you could say working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer. And that's, in essence, is basically the same sentence, right? But it's just in a different way. Working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer. There you go. Here we go. So what are we saying? Really, it's the same information, but we use different words because we change the profession the first profession is lawyer. The lawyer is more stressful. The second profession is mechanic, but the mechanic is less stressful. But the sentence is the same meaning. Is that okay? It's the same meaning, but in a different way. Exactly. It's the same meaning, but in a different way. Mm -hmm. Or if the two are the same, then we use as, as. As an example, working as a lawyer is as interesting as working as a mechanic. No is more, no is less. The two, the same. The two are interesting. Any questions? No question. Okay, good. No questions. So it's clear. It's clear? 
it's clear. Okay, then it's easier because if it's clear, then what we're going to do is with our partners, we want to make six sentences. One sentence with more than, one sentence less than, one sentence better than, one sentence worse than, and then we have as, as, and not as, as. For this one, we're going to go to our groups. We're going to practice the speaking and make sure that it's clear. Before we go to the, group, to the groups, do you need an example or it's okay? It would be better to have an example, I will want to say. Okay, no problem. I will create an example in the chat to make sure that it is clear for everyone. Okay. Good. One more. So for example, being a mother is more difficult than being a father. This thing, this means that my opinion is the mother work more, right? Or maybe the same sentence in a different form, okay? How do we say the same sentence in a different form? Being father is... Mm -hmm. Difficult than a mother. Difficult than a mother. Okay. Less difficult than being a mother. Correct. Is the same idea, but in reverse. The father is less stress, but the mother, the same idea is more. Now, Roxana. What if the two, my opinion is the two the same? How do I make the sentence? Uh, how I made, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Elena, how do I make the sentence if my idea is the two, the mother and the father, the same stress or the same difficult? Mm -hmm. With the stress. Oh, no, with difficult, the same, the same sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Being a mother is more stressful than being a father. It's correct? No, not correct, Elena. Okay. Is I think that you have to use the third form. Okay. Being a mother... Uh, Is is difficult? Oh, no, I don't. Yeah. Almost, almost. Let me help you. In the third form, is being a mother is as difficult as, as difficult. As. This is the as as the two the same. Okay, as I understand. difficult as. as. Yes, I understand. I transfer the. Sentence with the shuffle. <laughs> I know okay. it's up okay. here. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, the pair. This is what you're going to do with your partner. With your partner, you want to create six sentences. We want to create since six with more, with better, with as, as, and all of those. And what are we going to do? Let me share the screen so it's clear. Okay. This is the sentences that are the example. This is for example, 2.6. 2. 2. 2. In 2.6, 2. you are going in to- In 2.6, you are going to- One moment. One moment. Somebody has, there's on. Somebody has on, on. I think. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. All right, good. No problem, no more echo. So we create the sentences with our partners speaking 
and then we write the, then we write discussion board right here in the discussion we put we add a post and we put our examples with the partners yes monica i can hear you very well because very well. i heard uh, two voices of you uh yes let me there can you hear me better now monica again can you hear me is is it better now monica oh yes yes okay there thank you thank you welcome you're welcome so one more time what are we going to do with your partner you're going to speak you're going to use these six comparison structures to make sentences speaking and then after you have your ideas you are going to write your six examples here in the discussion board it's clear yes sir. yes teacher now yes all right perfect okay let's see let's make sure that we have enough time Okay, now with your partners, let's go. Wait, I think we had a problem. Teacher, yes, is there, is there a record is very very short time <laughs> <laughs> yes yes it's very very short time let me try again there maybe a little technical difficulty there okay it's okay it's no problem it's a joke <laughs> no no problem here we go let's try one more time here comparison there um, on the other hand we could use less and at the same time we'll use an adjective there um, so a quick example um, being a fashion center is more interesting than being an accountant okay or being an accountant is less interesting than being a fashion designer and so on and so forth um, I guess also uh, since I pointed out a doctor a doctor has worse hours than a nurse or a nurse has better hours than a doctor. Uh, and then we're going to use this um, other ones here to point out that they might have similarities, that they might be the same or that they might not be the same. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing in uh, this class. So let's try to make the comparison with, between two jobs. Um, what we'll do is we'll select this first two, as you can see here. So we have this one looks like a lawyer, and picture number two looks like a mechanic. So let's make the comparison between lawyer and a mechanic. Before we do that, we want to have some uh, work-related adjectives in mind, such as stressful, fantastic, fascinating, difficult, easy, interesting, dangerous. And of course, there are many more, but because of time, we're not going to go through um, a lot of other adjectives uh, and we also want to have uh, or we want to consider work related uh, nouns so what are nouns are just people places or things right so in this case when we think about jobs we want to think about things like hours how many hours you work education uh, how much education do you have uh, work uh, is your job does your job consist of doing a lot of work right uh, and these are the kind of things that we want to keep in mind in order for us to make uh, these comparisons. 
So what can we say about a lawyer versus, uh, let's say, a mechanic, right? We want to make the comparison between those two. Well, uh, we could say the following. I think we could say that working as a lawyer uh, is more <coughs> stressful than working as as a mechanic. So we will use an adjective in this case. I decided to use the adjective stressful. Uh, and it's, I think it's also important to mention that this is an, an opinion, right? So my opinion could be different than yours. You could think the opposite of this. So I, I wouldn't know neither one of those two because I never worked as a lawyer or as a mechanic, so I wouldn't know which one is more stressful. But it sounds like the lawyer is more stressful. And the way that we do it is, well, we're, notice that we're continuing using general phrases similar to uh, the previous class that we had where, where we learned how to make general phrases. So working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. Um, at the same time, you could, uh, you could say working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer. And that's, in essence, is basically the same sentence, right? But it's just in a different way. Working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer. There you go. There we go. And the reason I did this is because I quickly wanted to point out that we can use either more um, or we could also use less. So what else could we say about a lawyer and a mechanic is as interesting as working as a mechanic. So if I absolutely love cars, then definitely I think that working as a mechanic is very interesting. So in this case, I wanted to point this one out uh, because I want to express that both jobs are the same. So to me, both jobs um, have the same level, if you will, right? They are the same. One is not better than the other. Uh, and again, this is my opinion um, because I love cars and I also think that um, uh, lawyers are interesting and the work that the lawyers do is very interesting. So again, I want to point out that in this case, I'm using adjectives to make the comparisons. What I want to do next is use nouns to make the comparisons. So what kind of nouns can we think about when uh, we think about comparing these two jobs? Well, previously I mentioned that we can think of things like hours, maybe education, uh, or perhaps the type of work that people do. So, well, lawyer and mechanic, it, it usually is the case that a lawyer has more education than a mechanic, right? So uh, in this case, we can say that a lawyer has more education uh, than a mechanic. Uh, this is the noun that I am using to compare. What else can we say about the two jobs? Well, um, I could probably say that a mechanic has better hours than a lawyer. Okay, and in this case, as you can see, I used the one here in the middle better, and in the middle, I included uh, the noun to make the comparisons. Right, so the noun that I'm using to compare, it's hours. At the same time, I could say a lawyer has worse hours than a mechanic. Okay, uh, and perhaps I could say that working as a mechanic isn't as much work as working as a lawyer. So what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to look at all of these jobs. I will be publishing this this document here. Okay. Uh, so we got uh, there's a model, there's a journalist, there's a photographer, a painter, and just choose randomly two jobs that you would like to compare.
Okay, guys. Okay. Were there any questions? <laughs> I tried no? to to Be do sure. the <laughs> the sentence. I don't know if I I didn't understand what's going on with the as and as, but can you explain that again, please? Yes. When you use it's uh, very difficult. <laughs> okay. Oh, no problem. No problem. When we use as as, it means that it's the same, no difference. I get that idea, that idea, but I didn't know how to complete that sentence. Okay, uh, so uh, what were the two jobs? The structure, the, structure. the structure. The structure of structure. the sentence. Okay. That, right. Right, perfect. What, what was the two professions that you had? For, for example, dancer and policeman. Okay, dancer and policeman. And what is the vocabulary that you wanted to use? What do you we, say? We use, we use uh, dancer is more creative than the policeman. Okay. A dancer is more creative than a policeman. Excellent. Okay. That sentence is correct. Now, let's try with the same. Okay. What's something that the dancer and the police have in common? What is something that both of the dancer and the police do? They need to work out every day. Okay, okay, good. This is a good idea. So let me put in the chat so we can see. Okay, I'll help you out to understand. Okay. We'll start with a dancer. May I give it a try? Yes, there we have in the chat. Answer trains as hard as a police officer. It means that both of them is the same. The dancer trains four or five hours a day. The police officer trains four or five hours a day. Is the same. Yeah, this is the, in the same category. Correct, is in the same category, okay? That is the structure mm -hmm. that we use. If you see, we put the profession, a dancer, the police officer, whatever, then we use the verb, the verb trains. Next, we have our comparison. Here, we are using as hard as. And then finally, we finish with the other comparison, the other profession. Talk about Leticia and Roxana. Yes, Roxana. Well, uh, I would like to to say my my sentence using comparison at the at the, at the uh, as as. Uh, I compare nurse versus doctor. Okay. And I say, for example, working as a nurse is as stressful as working as a doctor. Very good, that is a correct, correct? sentence. That is correct, yes. For the example, uh, is a, nu a nurse as, a uh, as, um, uh, as more stressful as a doctor? No. Say, try again. Okay. A nurse as um, more stressful? No. Let's begin in order. A nurse and then what's the action? What is the activity? So work. Okay. So a nurse works 
Anur's work. Works. Works. Anur's works. Uh -huh. um, is a stressful. Ah, no. a, you need you need an act. So, for example, here we have. Okay. If you don't have an action, I will help you. A nurse. Mm -hmm. A nurse. A nurse's job. A nurse's job is. And what is the action, or what is that description? Yeah, stressful. Is as stressful. Is as stressful as a doctor. A work work a work doctor. No, as a doctor. You see in the chat? As stressful as sad. In this example, is the same. Yes. Who are exactly? This is the idea for as as the two are the same. Okay. But teacher. Yes. It's not. It's not necessary to say as a doctor's job. No, that's why we have the S. You understand about... That's why we have the no. S, the doctors. A nurse's job is as stressful as a doctor's. But you need to use the... the, the as an apostrophe. Apostrophe and yes. S. Yes, because then we understand it's the doctor's job. Because I, I... I... I am... Oh. <laughs> Teacher, in this example is uh, we refer at the professional but not at the person. It's correct? Yes, but for example, in the example before, I have Leticia is as smart as Roxana. This is the same example. Leticia is smart and Roxana is smart. The two yes. same level, the same level for intelligence. Yes, uh, but in the example with uh, Jose, we say the uh, the uh, something. The dancer. A dancer trainings as hard as police officer. In this case, I I refers a, a dancer, the person dancer, and the uh, a nurses jobs. I refers a the the kind of job, the nurse, but no, it's an, the an activities. Nurse, the activity, yes. Yes. It's okay? It's okay. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Is this better? Does this help? I don't understand what do you compare with a, a dancer trains as hard as a police officer? What? <laughs> Yeah, and that, that happens yeah. is that but, we but use... But you write the only police yeah. officer. Yes. In, on the chat, the as sentence. Trains as hard as a police officer. So the dancer... As hard as, as, hard as a police officer. Correct. What? What, what? Trains. 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 Trains, the trains is the activity. The train Trains is the activity. Train. That's right. For example, a, a dancer trains around two, eight hours of the day, for example, and the police officer two trains eight hours of the day, for example. And okay. the same. Is the same. It's like practice. Exactly. It's like yeah, training as, as yeah. something something similar as practice, training. Yeah, yeah, you got the idea. I understand the idea, but yeah, I don't know no if idea. this is correct. Yeah. Only write the, a police officer that you know specific. No, specify. never. 
what never. trains or whatever it's or it's not same. necessary no, no, it's, no exa it's, it's the same in the in the last example uh, roxana the activity is job in the a nurse yes, job is use... as straightful as doctors in this case if job is the activity and is no yes, necessary I understand. repeat in in the in the other sentence is the same trains is the activity of the dancer and police officer is not necessary to repeat to the police officer trains because at the beginning of the, the the activity is expressed and beginning of the sentence yeah i understand the idea <laughs> But I, uh, I don't understand the, the, the confusion, Roxana. Is... No, no, I understand the idea. It's not necessary to write again the, the, the yes. activity that you it's compare. The, it's the same as Spanish, the same. Yes. You don't repeat because the as as is equal. Equal what? Equal the first topic. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I say, uh, Elena has as much money as me. Not necessary repeat money because already in the sentence is understand that, that money is equal. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Good. Any other questions or? or mm -hmm. so, well, I, 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 let me have a let me have a, a, a try. Okay, go ahead. He says, working as a contractor is dangerous as a police officer's job. No. Because you forgot to use as at the beginning. Working as a contractor is mm -hmm. as it's dangerous. Is as dangerous. Uh, it's a, oh, okay, I see what you mean, okay? Mm -hmm. At danger. Correct. That's a police officer. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. exactly. Because Thank it's you. an obligation, the two as. The two as is equal. Oh, I see. I see what I mean. Okay. I got, I got you. Okay, hell yeah. good. Any other questions? Okay. No question. Yeah, right. Good. Okay. Good. 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 People got an idea, but yes. Yeah. No. No. It's it's a little difficult, but that's why we practice because there are many. Yeah, well, do. I have it's a question. Need. Yes. It's only need could, practice, could, practice, could, practice. Could you please give me an example in using not as as because I don't know where we are going to put the not. It always is going to be before as, or we can put it in another place before no, or after? Always, always oh. before us, obligation ah. before us. So uh, working as a doctor is not as, so the, the not is before the as. The working as a doctor is not as relaxing as working as a teacher, okay? You said Perhaps. working as a doctor. Correct. Is not is not as, as relaxing. As. Well, well, I can tell you try again. I we couldn't hear. Yeah. No. Uh, it was, You have a bad connection. Is uh, we can't hear. We can't hear. Already? Now, now yes, now yes. Try again. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, Helio. Is Maybe he's turned off the video. We can hear better. Yeah, try try turning off the video, Helio. Maybe it's for the for the internet. Maybe without the video, it's easier. Without. Uh huh. Try the video. Okay. Okay. Try. Okay. Try the video. Okay. Okay. Try the video. Not working us. A contractor is a danger at the police office. Let's say, let's say the, the same sentence. No, but not 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 working as a no, no but not, not 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 working as a so working as a contractor is not as dangerous as working as a police officer. No, okay. Okay, because not not working as a country. All right, all right. Uh -huh. I put in the chat to make sure that it's clear for you. Working as a... I see what you mean. Contractor. Contractor. As a danger as a police officer. This is what it is. Yeah, I, 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 what I have written. See what I have written down. Okay, there you go. You can look in the chat, Helio. Okay. Not okay. It's not it's not as danger as a police officer's job. Okay, that's also okay. Yes. Okay. I, I, read, I corrected my sentence here. All right, good, very good. Okay, so now that we understand how to use the comparisons, it's the same idea for all of them. The idea is only we change the word uh, for the topic. For example, uh, the money, working, uh, I don't know, uh, the stressful, the different things, they're all the same idea, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, yeah. partners, we want to make sure that we understand. Here we have many comparisons, okay? We are going yeah. to go to Knowledge Check 2.8, and with your partner, you want to select which is the correct form, okay? Which one is the correct one to use it? So a secret agent, which is the correct way? Oh, no, you know what, there are only five. Let's try it together because there are only five sentences. Let's try together. A secret me take it. Can you can you do a zoom a zoom on the on the on the screen? Because I very readily can can read it. Okay, let me try one moment. Is that yes, that's uh, yes a little better. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, now, now I can okay. So number one, everyone, we have a secret agent, a police officer. Which one do you think? A secret agent? Travel travels more than a police officer. Sorry, travels more than because always than. compare, right? Yes. Okay. Number two, an air traffic controller's job is less, less artistic, artistic than a TV director's job. Good. Director's right. job. Number three, landscapers and veterinarians have less well, education. They have, have less education, less education than, than veterinarians. veterinarians. Okay. <laughs> what is have the correct word? Veterinarians. Veterinarians. Mm -hmm. Number four, working as a comedian, a public speaker. Is Working as a comedian being, is harder, harder than, than being, being a, a public speaker. Speakers. A public okay. speaker. Good. Aerobics instructors. Air less than soccer coaches. Coach. Coaches. Soccer coach. coaches. 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 Soccer coaches. Excellent. We understand how to make the comparisons. And we mm -hmm. more 
we can use less. We can also use as, as, okay? Any questions? No. No question. No, teacher. Okay. Not at the meantime. Not at the time, okay. All right, now we're going to practice listening, right? We're gonna have our listening to summer jobs, okay? We are going to listen and we need to answer the four questions. So let's read first the questions to make sure it's clear. Number Teacher. Yes, Roxana. I have problem in my, in my platform. I can see the video. It says, este video no está disponible. This one, the listening summer. Yes, the listening okay. summer. In, in my in the in the platform. In my... Me too, problem. Well, I don't know. Uh, my classmate have problem with this. With this Anyone one? else have problems? Yeah, I this don't. Could be Not me. No, no, Helio. Not me. Not me. I can't in my case, it's same to Roxana. No. I. Do a screenshot and put in the chat of WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you have over your room. I don't know if if I take the push the the I push the the symbol of the YouTube, and I don't know if it's necessary. Yeah, I can see in that way. But, it, but in my platform, it's not possible. Este video no está disponible. Really? It's in black. On black. Okay. Let me try. Let's try this. Give me one. I put it on the WhatsApp group, the screenshot. I, I think it's the same problem uh, with Roxana. Roxana, click on, click on that link. Tell me if you can watch the video. No. I can't. I you can't. can't. Elena? Yes. That's the screen. I can't either. And you can, you can see the, icon. the, the icons. And, and, and SLA? Uh, in YouTube, say it's a private video. Yes. Uh, I try in that way is uh, the is, configuration of the video on YouTube is uh, is changed to public, but we can see it. You cannot see it in the YouTube. No, in YouTube, no, we can see it's it. It's not possible. I remember I tried, but it it say uh, the video is not able, and this video is private. Okay. It's no problem we, because we're going to do here in class. So let's watch together and we can do it to make sure it's clear. It's, the solution is easy. Okay. okay. We do together. Okay. Here is the video. Listening to summer job. We're going to listen and answer the fourth question. What kind of job does Carlos do? What kind of job does Julia do? What kind of job does Paul do? And who doesn't like what they who do? Who doesn't like what they do and why? Okay. Please put your microphone okay. on mute. Please put your microphone on mute. Okay. Don't worry, Helio. I help you. Is okay, uh, there. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, guys, let's listen and pay attention to answer the questions. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening to descriptions. After listening to the audio program, you'll complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? 
Well, they work on subjects they need help in, uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef. Vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah. But I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night. So I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. Okay, let's try it together. Let's see how it is. And then we can listen again. But first, let's try to answer some of these things together. What kind of job does Carlos do? Tutor for kids. Uh, tutor for kids. Tutor for kids. Tutor for kids. Okay, good. What kind of job does Julia do? Telemarketing, telemarketing agent. agent. Okay, telemarketing agent. What kind of job does Paul do? A chef assistant. Chef assistant. Chef assistant. Chef assistant. Good. Who doesn't like what they do and why? Paul doesn't. Paul doesn't like his job because it is really hard work and it is really hard in the kitchen. Okay. Let's check. You see, yeah. excellent. Very good. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, does it not take a, it's a computer? Re repeat. Uh, does it not take it's a computer uh, section? Does not? No. No, no, no lo marca como completado y están haciendo las respuestas con el chequecito verde. Pues Leti, sí, English, speak English. Es que no me lo entendés, Holly, por eso. <laughs> Very bad, Leti. Ok, okay. Doesn't, does not take it as completed. Try the, correcto, it's no not completed. Try to refresh. Uh, yes, teacher. Yeah. I guess... select all the answer and every answer is okay with the green check. But when mm. I click on next, oh, yes, I, it's passed. But in the icon, it's not appeared the, the circle with the white check. Uh, I like I've not complete the activity in the platform. Okay. Yeah. But teacher, in my case, it's correct. Every all question and is correct. 33, 33 pound points. Oh, okay. And, and when you do, do click on the next MBR? button. Mm -hmm. and the next button is the and the icon of the in the top is with the circle with the white check or no it's appear Roxana appear the, the check the check but in, in, the, the, in icon, the green yes the green yes in the in the in the top in the with the other all 
icons, la de, uh, the book, the video, and the knowledge check with the notebook and pencil or pen? No, it's blank. Yes, it's a, a blank. It's, it, and the others we do are the circle with the white check, but in this case, it's no marker. Maybe the activity is what configured in the platforms. Maybe, maybe, but here, can you do me a favor? And we can see if it's correct or not. Here, go to the part where it says progress. In the part of progress for your grades, okay? And see if it's complete. This is section okay. two. See if it says 33 of 33. Yes, it's complete. In okay. this the part, the then, progress is marked to 30. Then it's complete. Only, yes. only the symbol is not registered, but the yes. Yes, it's no problem. It's only the symbol. Yeah, I have the problem. Jose, if for you, yeah. it does. Yeah, I have the I had the problem. I don't know what's going on with the platform, but yesterday I already completed the unit one, the section one and part of the section two. But today when I log in, um, mm. I, I don't know what's going on and appeared that I didn't complete the 1.1. 1 .1. So I, I gonna complete again all the section no. one and two. Jose, do not complete all. First, well, yes. Yes, it's good to complete, but uh, write to Jonathan and explain the technical problem. Because I explained it yesterday because I appeared um, as I en enrolled in the same uh, course. Yes, twice. He, but now they now they corrected the course. No, in the correct course, but twice in the same course. So I think that he eliminated one and he eliminated that I completed. Yes, exactly. He eliminated the one that you completed. Yes. So uh, it is- I have to do uh, again. Yeah, I have to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Got okay. it. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. Remember to complete lesson one and two in the platform because Monday we begin lesson three. Monday we begin lesson three. Today we finished. If you see, we go back. We already finished lesson one and two. The listening for the one that we just did, the listening was the last exercise for unit two. See, the summer jobs is the last exercise. So Monday, we begin unit three is necessary. The platform is complete, unit one and two for Monday. Okay? Okay. It's okay. All right, guys. Good. Have a good weekend. I see you on Monday. Thank you. See you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. See you on Monday. See you on Monday.